Hey y'all and welcome back. So if you want to see how I achieved this midnight royal navy blue color on my finger wave wig, keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get started. So the wig that I'm using is by Hira Remy. This is their finger wave wig that is 100% human um, Remy hair. And I'll leave down below in the description box the link to this wig. And it only costs $17 y'all for 100% human hair, which is awesome. You're gonna need a mannequin head and you need to just make sure to secure it um, to your mannequin. And then the color that I'm using for the dye is by Adore and this is the 178 Royal Navy. And of course y'all definitely gonna need some gloves and your tools of attack, which of course are your brush and a little dish so that you can uh, keep your dye in. But you'll see later y'all that I just kind of got a little impatient and just was like, yo, this brushing joint is taking too long. So I, I was polite at first. And as you can see, I like, you know, go section by section. But then um, later on, as you'll see in just a bit, I was like, oh, forget this. Um, so went ahead and just, you know, poured the dye all over the wig, which it's a short wig. So you really don't have to really, you know, be so gentle with it, especially since it doesn't have any lace. So I just honestly just went went for it and then to get the smaller areas I use my brush so yeah that's why I highly recommend it, it will, the process will go a lot quicker than what I was trying to do I was trying to be polite y'all but now nah. um, so once you finish applying the dye you're going to want to let it set for about two to three hours um, and what I do is I put a plastic bag over it so that I can keep all the heat in to kind of help it process faster and of course like I said, let it sit for two to three hours and then you're gonna rinse and air dry it. And so this is what it looks like after it is all complete. The dyeing process is done and it is pretty much um, still wet, but we're gonna go ahead and let that air dry overnight. And then the next day I uh, pop it on my head and I begin the styling process. So this is what it looked like after it was drying um, overnight. And I have a video as how to um, style the mommy wig, which is, this wig is very similar to it. It has that same kind of, you know, finger wave pattern. Um, and essentially I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just cutting down the sides and tapering them so that I have, you know, a little bit less hair to worry about. And of course I'm going in, I don't know why I was making that face, but I'm going in with my uh, handy dandy H2O in my spritz bottle. And I'm applying that generously to really wet the hair and then I take some of my mousse. So you can use any old mousse. This mousse I got from Walmart for like $2, y'all. And just kind of put that packet in there and play around with the curls, just really get them messy. And you want this, I wanted this kind of like wet look. And then I set it um, with a blow dryer and added a little bit of got to be glued around my edges just to kind of lay the wig down. And y'all, this was the easiest project ever and it just came out exactly how I had wanted to. I was going for that sort of bad girl re, -re look with the little Royal Navy, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.